Now, basically, the only new principle involved is that instead of power being generated by the relative motion of conductors and fluxes, it is produced by the modial interaction of magneto-reluctance and capacitive directance. So I'm out here in the lab and uh, we're going to be testing a little ammunition today. Uh, we're going to be testing the Hornaday Critical Defense versus the uh, Winchester PDX-1 Defender, both of these in 380, cal 380 ACP. And both of these rounds are supposed to be moving at like a thousand feet per second, so we're going to check that out. I've got uh, three rounds in each mag of the, the G42, and then three of my reloads after that, so we'll, we'll test those out. So. Uh, get a safety in place and let's go ahead and see what they do the camera's set right alright first up the Hornaday critical defense I'm going to be about four feet back. Got an error. That's not good. Let me reset this. Alright, we're going to try it again. We've only got two rounds left out here with us, so let's let the chronograph get reset. Here we go again. Eight hundred ninety feet per second. Eight seventy-four. Now here are my reloads. Eight seventy-four. 777 and an air. I'll reset it one more time. The chrono doesn't seem to be liking the, the little 380 so much. I'm going to get reset here and another one of my reloads. Another air. Okay. Well, I think we got the picture though. We get didn't quite get a thousand feet per second, but uh, we're a little ways back and we've got a short barrel as well on the G42. So I'm going to reset this and we're going to try the Winchester PDX-1 Defender. Chronos reset. Here we go, three rounds of the Winchester. 881, 927, 834, 834, 763. So let's get these back in the indoor lab and check out the data.